Let's take a look at the lesson, Adjacent Angles. It says, what is the value of a missing angle? Well, here we can see that we're given one angle measurement here of 24 degrees and another one here of 61 degrees. Now they're asking us what the entire angle measurement is. We can figure that out by combining 61 degrees plus our 24 degrees. Let's add those together. 1 plus 4 is 5, and 6 plus 2 is 8. So the entire angle measurement is 85 degrees. Here, we have an angle measurement of 21 degrees and an angle measurement of 64 degrees. Again, to find the total angle measurement, we can add 64 plus 21. 1 plus 4 is 5, 6 plus 2 is 8, 85. Here, we're given one angle measurement of 51 degrees and then the total angle measurement here of 75 degrees. So we need to find out what this missing angle measurement is here. We can do that by taking the 75 degrees of the entire angle and subtracting the one here that we already know, which is 51. 5 minus 1 is 4, 7 minus 5 is 2. So this angle measurement here is 24 degrees. What is the value of a missing angle? So here we have 68 degrees and here we have 22 degrees. So we need to combine 68 degrees plus 22 degrees to find the total angle measurement. So 8 plus 2 is 10. 1 plus 6 plus 2 is 9. So that angle measurement is exactly 90 degrees. Here we have an angle measurement of 69 degrees and one of 21 degrees. So we need to add those together to find the total angle measurement. 69 plus 21. 9 plus 1 is 10. 1 plus 6 plus 2 is 9. Again, it is a 90 degree angle. That is a right angle. Here we have a 51 degree angle and the entire angle measurement here of both of them combined is 76 degrees. So we can take 76 and we can subtract the 51 to find out what the missing angle measurement is. 6 minus 1 is 5, 7 minus 5 is 2. That's 25 degrees. So here we have the total angle measurement of 98 degrees, and we know that this one is 28, so we need to find out what this angle measurement is. So we would take 98 and subtract 28, because we need to subtract the piece that we already know, which is this piece, to find the remaining angle. 8 minus 8 is 0, and 9 minus 2 is 7. So it is a 70 degree angle right here. What is the value of a missing angle? Here we have a 24 degree angle and here we have a 52 degree angle. If we add both of them together, we'll get the total angle, angle measurement. So 52 plus 24, 2 plus 4 is 6, and 5 plus 2 is 7, so 76 degrees. Here we have an angle measurement of 64 degrees, and then the total angle measurement is 92 degrees. So we are missing this measurement here. We need to find how many degrees that is. So if we have 92 and we subtract 64, we will find the missing angle measurement. 2 minus 4, we can't do that, so let's borrow from the tens place. 
Now we have 12 minus 4, which is 8, and then 8 minus 6, which is 2, so it's 28 degrees. What is the value of the missing angle? So here we have 86 degrees for the total. This angle is 28, so we need to find out what this angle is. So we would take 86 and subtract 28 from it. And then we'll find this missing angle measurement. So 6 minus 8, we can't do that, so we borrow from our 8. And then we have 16 minus 8, which is 8. And 7 minus 2, which is 5. So it is a 55. 8 degree angle, 58 degrees for this one here. Great job, friends.